I'm going to press W and go back into the 3D mode and I'm going to move down my hallway until we get to the area where we created these sections. As you can see when I move my cursor over them which is centered in the middle of the screen it highlights them uh, yellow and it blinks. Use your mouse wheel in the 3D mode to edit the height or the depth of segment segments. You cannot do this on the sides of the walls only on top or bottom. So basically I'm going to nudge this up, nudge, nudge, and I'm just going to move these up in a stairway fashion. Alright, as you can see we made, it some, we made some stairs, but uh, the ceiling is getting really low here, so we better go over here and raise the ceiling a little bit. Oh, not that whole thing. I'm going to go down here, raise this up. And as you can see, we have raised the ceiling. All right. Now that we've added uh, these uh, stairs, let's continue to build. And you can probably see these red lines here. Um, I'll talk about these in just a second. So let's go back to 2D mode. And I'm going to create a room right here using create sector mode. So I've created my sector. I'm going to clean up this vertice right here. Alright, so now we can see we have a room. I'm going to go back to 3D mode, go through this wall, and you can see we have this nice little room right here. Alright, as you can see, let's move this up just a little bit. Alright, see it went down. Alright, like that, and that should be good. All right, now, now that we've created the room, let's go back into 2D mode and let's create another sector right here. If you go back, you can see that we have created a doorway and we have connected these two areas. Um, well, now that we've created some areas, um, let's go ahead and change the textures of these areas. So you can do this in 2D mode or 3D mode, but it's very easy in 3D mode and I would recommend editing in 3D mode for texture editing. So I'm going to right click and we're going to start in this room. I'm going to right click on one of the walls and I'm going to go ahead and double click on the area which um, has the texture, which is middle. And I'm going to change this to, uh, let's see, I'm going to change it to ceiling. 3, 3, um, so say OK. Now I can go Control C to copy the current texture on the current um, highlighted wall and then use the middle mouse button click to add it to my other walls. So I'm just going to flat on here and add this to my walls, add it up here onto the red. Now those red things, that red meant that there was no current texture applied and that's bad because you can see holes in the map if you leave it like that so we should uh, clean up these um, when we get ready now let's go ahead and add a floor so I'm going to go ahead and uh, add this right here this looks better um, so control C that and add it to these I just clean up All right. you can see that this whole thing is selected right here and well we don't really want to apply this whole thing we don't want to add a new texture to it so let's go back here and make another line and this part of the segment of the tutorial is to teach you that just because we create a line here doesn't mean we have to do anything with the geometry or only putting in here for the purposes of not applying the whole texture so basically I hope this teaches you that we can have all kinds of lines all over, but it doesn't actually have to be visual as actual geometry. All it has to actually be is texture change, light change, etc., etc. All right, now let's right click on uh, this step down here, and I'm going to go ahead to lower because that's the thing that's missing the texture. And I'm going to select this right here, this flat. All right, Control C. 
I'm just going to add it to all these steps right here. All right, like that. Okay, so that looks good. So now that we've got that kind of edited out, it looks pretty cool. Uh, final thing we're going to do is we're going to change the ceiling. Now, you look here and you say, well, this is a really ugly texture. Why is this in the game? Well, this is actually sky. If we fly over to here, you can see that we have a sky. And if you've played Doom, which I hope you have if you're modding it, you know that this area on the first level, actually, when you look out, it looks like a sky. It's just a big bitmap with some cliffs. Um, so this will automatically add it to make it look like sky. So I want to scroll back down here. And since we don't really want this to look like sky, I'm going to right click and go to ceiling. And I am going to select, how about these right here? All right, that looks pretty good. Looks like some lights. All right. So uh, now that we got that done, how about we give this map a try in game? So I'm going to go to Tools, Preferences, and I'm going to, actually I'm going to go to, um, just go ahead and press Test Map. And if this is your first time, it's going to say, you know, you don't have it configured. So just say yes. And we're going to select on our application, and we're going to double click on the zdoom.exe. If you're not browsed directly to your base folder where the Doom is kept. Make sure you go there so you can get zdoom.exe. I'm just going to you know, leave it at hurt me plenty and just say OK. So I'm going to click play again and it's going to open. Alright, as you can see this is zdoom and zdoom is a lot different from the standard Doom executable. Basically um, you can use your mouse fully um, you can have specialized HUD and you can actually, it's just a lot better. So you want to use ZDoom. And uh, if you don't have it set up, basically go to options and go down to your controls, your resolution, sound, display, etc., etc. Very customizable, lots of options. Okay, basically, let's go over here and you can see that this is our room that we created. So you can see that it's here. So this is the room we created. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. And um, basically, now it's time to add a door. Say that we want to add a door. Well, let's just go ahead and add the door right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into 3D mode, pressing W of course. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just scroll this down. This is going to be our door right here. So we're just going to move this down, move this down. So that, see, now we have our area right here. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to just uh, do a standard door like that. And I'm not going to really worry about texture um, stuff right now. I'll talk about that in a later tutorial. I'm going to actually bring this down so it looks nice. As you can see, it's not tiled properly right here, so in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to fix that. Um, but for right now, we're just going to go back into two-day mode, and I'm going to select the two sides right here by holding Control down to select both. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go to Lower Unpegged and say OK. That's important. Then I'm going to select these two. First, I'm going to press C to, un to clear all my selections. I'm going to right-click on the two over here, and I'm going to go to Action, which is going to be um, door, open, wait, close, also monsters. Um, and I'm going to go over here, and that should be about it. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and I'm going to press play. As you can see, I press spacebar, the door opens, and the door closes. So as you can see, we just created a door. All right, now uh, let's go ahead and start editing with the things mode. So I'm going to go ahead and press things mode, and I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a monster. Now you can see that because we're using the, I'm using the ultimate doom wad. Basically, I get everything, and I think it 